back to another short and sweet where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. Today we have Murray Hill Club mm -hmm. from the uh, people who brought you Joseph Magnus. Such favorites as. Yeah. <laughs> so this one is 103 proof and it's actually a blend of 18 year and 11 year old bourbon and then also a nine year light whiskey, which I don't know that I'm super, like have had a ton of experience with light whiskey blended into my and, yeah, usually, other things. You know, it's stuff like unatanium where it's just light whiskey. It's just light whiskey. Uh, yeah, not a whole lot that's been, been blended in to whiskey. Especially so. with an mm. 18 year in there. 18 awesome. and 11, now they don't give the percentages, so more than likely the 18 is a, is a very small percentage of it. But we do uh, also want to thank Matt Zittrick. Thank you, Matt. Yes. Whiskey, Whiskey Crusaders. Crusaders. Check them out here on YouTube for supplying us with a sample. It does smell nice. Well, it's kind of earthy. Mm -hmm. Definitely wood ford. Yeah, wood ford for sure. It smells like a big pile of campfire wood. Yeah, and uh, there's Leaves. sort of some honey citrus pop kind of coming through Cut. there. Citrus <laughs> pop, yeah. All right, to your health. Whoa, just 103 proof? Huff. Yeah, it does have that <laughs> at the finish. I do like, whoo, bottle. I feel like I just ate wasabi. <laughs> Whoa. I feel like I really like the mouthfeel up front and the flavors are really good, but yeah, I was like, mmm, yummy. And then all of a sudden it's like, whoosh. Yeah. And then I was like, I can breathe through my nose again. <laughs> Definitely need to get a second sip, see how uh, things react on that. I think I can tell that the light whiskey is in there. I wonder if mm. where that's extra, like, I don't know if it's like ethanol, but yeah, that like, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, you stick your head into, uh, what are they, into the fermenting tanks yeah. at the wrong time and it's like, you, get all you the, can get yeah. a little lightheaded. Tell you not to breathe in too deep. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. And the thing with light whiskey is there's several different things that could put it in that category. So we don't know if this was whiskey that was distilled <sighs> over 160 proof, which, you know, could be adding to that, or yeah. if it was uh, used barrels or uncharred barrels or a combination, like not sure the designation of this light whiskey, but I do feel like it's not drinking like 18 and 11 year old, just regular straight bourbon whiskey. Yeah. While we let this sort of ruminate before we take our next sips, we want to pause and tell you about our home and internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get uh, both the t-shirts that we're wearing, my hat, both of our Glen Karens. You can also get tickets to the big Bourbon Nights, which is happening in November. November 10th. That's right. We uh, do still link have for that down there. About 12 tickets left to our E.H. Taylor uh, six bottle tasting Barrel the night before. 2012 through uh, 2017 mm -hmm. tasting as well. But also since it's getting cold out, you can get hoodies, uh, other long sleeve shirts, bottle cut candles, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. All those things. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that is where we most recently released a Nulu double oak weeded bourbon. Uh, that was our pick. We've got some more picks coming. We just picked a couple of things from Starlight. It'll end up in Patreon first, and you can also get discounts on that merch Chad mentioned, depending on your tier and more. The light whiskey is coming through maybe the most, do you think? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say. It is hard to, to say. Definitely on the nose, you can't really Going back tell. after having sipped it and it's been sitting here for a minute. It is a very crisp nose. It's crisp. I'll yeah. say that. It's yeah, it's bright. But the 18 year does round it out with those oaky notes, that wood pile kind of. You definitely do get more acclimated to it. Second, third sip, it's not that big whoosh, but you know, if this is your first bourbon of the day, uh, or first whiskey of the day, we should say mm -hmm. more accurately, which it is for us. Um, yeah, that first sip kind of, and you should take a smaller sip on your first one, just sort of good um, tips, I good guess, tips. right? Good your tips. first sip is your smallest, you get acclimated, then you kind of dive in. If you're drinking critically, you know, if you're, if we're, if you're trying to- If you're just drinking for fun. Just drinking for fun, do, do whatever, whatever you want. want. <laughs> but uh, for the critical drinker. For the critical drinker. Instead of critical thinker, it's critical drinker. That's already That's out there. That's funny. It's already out there. Oh. It's already a thing. Boo. I do enjoy it, would drink. I could see this being like fun for like a tailgate or something. I don't know how expensive it is. Um, it's well, it's going to be around a hundred dollars. Um, you're normally going to see it just north of a hundred. So somebody usually. might bring that to be like the cool guy who the brought baller, the good, yeah. the good bottle. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that would be really fun for something like that. It's a little hot. At it, 103, it, it's a little... Well, it leaves um, a, a, kind of a kick on the it tongue. Does. Like my tongue is not burning, but it is... Uh, it I came, am aware of yeah. my tongue, I'll say that. This I'm aware of my tongue in my mouth. This one came to party. 
Like it wasn't kidding. It did. And it's been a while since we've had like their cigar blend or other, like, like Joseph Magnus mm -hmm. things, but grain and salt because we're not trying them blind in like a flight fight or something, but I think I would gravitate towards those first. And they're also gonna be around that same price point. True, I think I agree with that statement. Though I don't dislike this. Agreed. Agreed. Just probably put it a little bit lower on the list. It's still like, ha. getting me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, hey, that's where we better leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking or right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. We hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Matt. Until next time, drink more bourbon.